case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a tense dispute over fire insurance policies in 1958, a pivotal case was heard by the Oklahoma Supreme Court, Travelers Fire Insurance Company v. Wright. At the center, allegations by the defendants suggested the plaintiff had intentionally started a fire to deceive and defraud them. To corroborate their allegations, the defendants offered former testimony from a court reporter of a related criminal case. This maneuver, however, was dismissed by the initial trial court, a decision that catalyzed this appeal. Notably, this case became a seminal moment in legal history because it delved into the scope of admissibility of former testimony in a subsequent separate case and criteria for a witness to receive immunity over self-incrimination. The original trial rejected the defendant's requests to use certified transcripts from a former arson-related criminal trial. Two witnesses, previously subpoenaed, had invoked their right against self-incrimination, refusing to testify. The defendants suggested the court reporter who had recorded their testimonies in the criminal case verify the transcript's accuracy in court. This proposition was also rejected, leading the defendants to appeal the decision. The Oklahoma Supreme Court, disagreeing with the previous rulings, stated that testimony from a criminal case could indeed be used for a civil case under specific circumstances. Some conditions included the unavailability of the witness, a previous opportunity being granted to cross-examine the witness, and an identity of parties and issues. In parallel, the court dealt a blow to existing legal norms by overturning the precedent set by Crum v. Brock. The court ruled that a witness could receive immunity from prosecution not by simply invoking silence, but make a deal with the prosecuting attorney, gain court approval, or being compelled to testify by the court. Moreover, Immunity would only be granted if the witness act in good faith and provides truthful and complete testimony concerning all material facts within their knowledge. In short, this immunity was not a carte blanche against prosecution. This landmark ruling not only changed the course of legal proceedings in Oklahoma, but set the stage for a new trial of the fire insurance dispute. The court's decision was indeed a crucial pivot, weighing in on the delicate balance between a person's right to silence and the quest for justice through comprehensive testimonial evidence. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.